Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I'm sure you guys are wondering, why don't you have any makeup on for your intro? Because this never happens. <laughs> but I don't want to spoil the look for you as well as for me, because obviously at this point I have no idea what I'm about to look like. Nikki Tutorials just posted a challenge video, and now I don't do very many of the actual makeup challenge videos, so I thought that this one was really cute, and so I had to do it. It's called the Google Picks My Makeup Challenge. Basically, how we get Google to pick our makeup look is to take the first initial from your first and last name. I'm at Google right now. There we go. And I'm going to put MT for my first and last name and then look beside it. And then you're going to go to images and the very first image you see is the one you're going to take inspiration off of. <laughs> this cracks me up. <laughs> the very first picture is of this motorcycle. Now, I mean, the only way this could get any better if it was a Ducati, but I am not mad at it. Google, you did me good. I am not mad at it. Google knows me well. And yeah, I can definitely draw some inspiration from this. So I'm looking at the picture. I definitely see cool tone. So we're gonna go with a cool tone look today. And I see a little bit of shine, but I'm seeing a lot of matte so I think I'm gonna do an all matte look I'm gonna be cool toned so just give me a second I'm going to grab my products and I'll be right back obviously I already have my brows done and my face is already primed all that information will be down below I'm gonna take my sponge and I'm gonna go in with the cover FX power play in the right shade hopefully this is G30 oh yeah this is much better than that G20 <laughs> Foundations done. Let's go ahead and go with concealer. Same old, same old. Tarte Shape Tape. I'm going to go in with my Becca powder underneath my eyes and Adelium 785. And now to set the rest of my face, I'm going to go in with this Milani Prep Set and Glow Illuminating Transparent Powder. You guys don't know how much I love this. I use this almost every day. And I'm going to take a 974 from Delium, and I'm going to start pressing it into the skin. I, I love this powder. To the point that I'm going to need to go ahead and purchase it back up. Can you guys see like the glow on my forehead, my nose, chin? That is that powder. And there's no like shimmer, glitter, or anything like that. It's just a smooth radiance. Now, because we are doing a cool toned look today, I'm not gonna go in with a really warm bronzer. I'm going to take Oscar from the Bomb, also known as Oliver, <laughs> and my Kylie number four. For blush, I'm going to go in with 100 Nudo from Giorgio Armani, and I'm using a 126 brush from Zoeva. Now, to get this to show up, I kind of have to pack it on. So, this is not going to work if you're much darker than me. Now, I'm going to highlight using one of the iciest cool tone ones I have. This is from Burberry, and it's the shade number 01. It's white. This is her right here. I'm taking my Linda Hallberg 306. I feel like I remember not liking this highlighter, and now I'm sitting here wondering why. I don't know. Maybe I had the wrong brush before. I don't know. But I'm, I'm liking it right now. And you guys are probably like, Mel, didn't you say you're going to do an all matte look? I'm getting to it. What's going to be the eyes and the lips? But my face got me glowy. But this is the little bit of shine that was in the motorcycle. <laughs> As always now, I'm going to buff. I'm going to use my Sisley Powder La Mer brush and just go to town. All right, now I'm gonna move on to eyes. I'm gonna use two different palettes, and the only reason why is because I wanna use the white that's in here. This is the P. Louise palette. I'm gonna use this white shade, and then the rest of the colors are gonna come from the Infinity palette from Linda Hallberg Cosmetics. MAC 252 and Charm. This is the sh white shade out of the P. Louise palette. I'm gonna start by all over the front, like three quarters of the eye. I'm gonna go up slightly, blending right here. Make sure I get this inner corner. And I'll just take the excess on this outer edge. 
Infinity palette and Moffy. I yeah, I don't know how to say that word. <laughs> I'm gonna go all in the crease, just using this as a light transition. It is okay if you get rid of some of the white. We will intensify that again later. By the way, I'm using a Zoeva 227. Sorry. Wayne Goss number 19. I'm just gonna dust a little bit of that right underneath the lower lash line. Back in with the 227, and I'm going to take Cigar. And this is the more gray shade in there. Go in the outer V and then work it up into the crease as well. I'm going to kind of drag this shade over about halfway. Just little tapping motions to get it into place. And just blend upward. Mainly want to focus this right on the outer instead of bringing it all the way in. Same shade, lower lash line. For next, on a Delium 776, I'm going to pack this on the outer corner first. And then start to kind of work it up right here. Not all the way into the crease again, just mainly on this outer half here. I'm slightly just working it upwards. Go in with that 227, no additional product, and go right around the edges to help blend it out. MAC 212, and I'm gonna start working the shade right smack up against the lower lash line first. I'm gonna take my Artiste Linear 3D, start on the outer corner, and then start to smoke it out a little bit. Same shade, that black shade. Now I'm going to go back in with Charm from the P. Louise palette. I'm going to get it on this inner corner and just tap, starting at the very front and then slowly working over. I just want to intensify the white, but I don't want to destroy the dark area back here. So just tap, tap, and just blend. Tattoo liner, and I'm going to get right at the base of the lashes. If you'll notice, I laid my brush on its side, almost flat. That makes it so much easier to get right at the lash base. Back in with that 212 and 4 Nax, I'm just going to go over the liner and then smoke it out. Final touch, NARS Via Veneto in the inner rim, and then I'm going to go add some mascara. I wanted to keep the makeup very sleek, like the bike, not too fussy, so no lashes, just mascara, and then lips. We gotta get that little hint of red in here. So, I'm gonna go in with the red lipstick. Might not go with my shirt, but I don't care. It's gonna go with the makeup. So, this is from Tom Ford in the shade Ruby Rush, and it's a mess. I went in with a Linda Hallberg 301 to do around the lips because that wasn't going to happen with just the bullet. <laughs> but this is the finished look. I definitely feel like I could go sit on that motorcycle and we would be one, you know? <laughs> but let me know what you guys think about this look, what you think about the challenge in general. And if you haven't checked out Nikki's video, definitely go and do so. I just think this was a great idea. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.